Hello, welcome to another PitKit Plus demonstration. I'm going to quickly take you through installing the, and the basic use of the software. Let's have a look what I'm talking about. I'm talking about these two programmers, a PitKit 3 or a PitKit 2. I'm going to program a microchip 18F part. Doesn't really matter what it is because it will be recognized automatically in a moment. Let's start where we should start with you in terms of um, the uh, email that you get from us and then we'll work down from there you receive from us an email and it will look like this it will have a url in it, and that url in blue is specific to you you download it to your download folder or appropriate folder and execute it if you get warnings you can uh, check that the software has not been corrupted in storage or in transmission on the internet by looking at the hashes we provide you two hashes, a MD5 hash and a SHA-256 hash, and you can check that they are valid by using internet sites that generate MD5 hashes or SHA-256 hashes. You upload our software and it should give you the same number. Well, I've got the software installed on my computer, but we're going to just delete the icons that I've got already so we can see them appear. So I'm going to go to my installation folder. I have downloaded the software previously and I'm just going to execute it as you would. And you'll end up with the, open, the run security warning in Windows and run that. Now, because this has come from the internet, you will get the, you will get the untrusted location. As I said previously, rest assured that we virus check it and provide you the hashes. So I run it it will come up with a user interface for the installation. Welcome. This is the license. Please read the license and accept. We give you some key information about using the PIC kit, which is, which is quite useful for those who are changing chips quite often. And it explains other key information about using some of the software that was provided to us in January 2020 by Microchip. I'm installing it to a location. If I use it integrated with a different comp with a compiler, you can put it in your own selected folder or take the defaults. I'm now installing it by accepting next and install. And the software has now installed. I selected complete to finish the installation. Well, on the camera, you could see earlier on, I had a PitKit 2 installed. I'm just going to bring that up and show you that. There it is. I am now going to start in my PitKit 2 software by double-clicking it. The software starts, and we can see that I've got a, uh, a 18F27Q10 in, uh, there, and I'm just going to import a file into here um, to um, install um, so a hexadecimal file to the To the software oh if i import the file that would be correct i'm going to find my file it's installed it's in my c drive great cow basic demonstrations and there's a hex file it is now in, successfully imported it it's a hex file and we can see it decoded here it's got in all those numbers of the hex files i have program memory selected eprom it will automatically write out the user ID and the configuration. The operation of a PitKit 3 is the same. I've now successfully loaded that and verified that hexadecimal file. I'll erase that. I could blank check it if I wished, but let me re-import it and rewrite it. I wanted to show you installing and the basic use of PitKit Plus, and I've done that. Thank you very much.